All right, welcome back to Sleep Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. Here we're going to look at math.h. Uh, think of math.h as your calculator uh, functions, things that uh, when you want to do math operations, uh, these are functions that you can call. So we'll start over here at our hello world like we always do. And the new header file include math.h. So this would be if you find yourself needing to do math operations. And probably the best way is just to demonstrate, right, by writing code. Now, previous to this video, we've had, for example, an integer number. So we had, um, in fact, let's actually do this, kind of a review. We said we could have an integer num1, declare it, and num1's a box that holds an integer. An integer num2, another box. We could have integer sum, which is the uh, yet another box. So we got three boxes, three variables. And we could say, say um, num1 equals 10, and num2 equals 20, and sum equals num1 plus num2. So we did that on an earlier video. And then we printed it out. So printf uh, sum percent d backslash n and sum. Boom. So that's review. Um, to do math operations, instead of doing integers, and remember an integer is 1, 2, 3, or 0, or minus 1, or minus 2, Math operations often have a decimal place, right? 3.14. Uh, there's there's, there's um, additional information, the, the fractional part, what comes after the decimal place. So for this, we have a box called a double. I'll just call this result. A double, sometimes called a double, um, Precision, I'll just say precision um, floating point. Floating point is a number, for example, like 3.14. In other words, you have a decimal place and additional information after that. So that's what a double is. So an integer box holds integers. A double box holds numbers with floating points. Well, when you're doing math, for example... I could say result equals, here's one of the math functions, square root. So let's say the square root of 4. And I'm going to say 4.0, for example. So what's the square root of 4.0? Well, we know the answer, but let's print it out. Let's let the computer show us. And percent F, F for floating point, backslash N. So result. So I'll click on Run. The result, and notice, sure enough, we have a decimal place. So the square root of 4 is 2, right? Or maybe let's change it. Why don't we make it to 16? Just make it a little bit higher. Of course, 16 square root is 4. So this is one of the functions provided by the math uh, library, by this math.h, right? Square root. And... Think about all the different buttons on in the old days when you had a calculator as opposed to an app on your phone. You had like a calculator and it had, for example, a square root button. Or how about this? Suppose you wanted the result, you wanted to take the power of something. So, so power, you raise one number to the other. So let's say 2 uh, raised to the power of 2. And again, we can just print out the result. So we've got one number raised to the power of the other, and we see we got 4. In fact, maybe we'll say, let's raise it to 3. So 2 times 2 times 2. So we have 8. Um, so the square root, the power, and as you can imagine, things like sine and cosine, and I, I won't go through all of these, just want to give you... Uh, kind of a heads up. So you could do, for example, the sine 
right? So we can have a, a double of, of a number there. So let's just say 1.0. And we will print out the result. So, uh, and, and although I won't go through all, you, as you can imagine, there's a cosine and there's a tangent and all the others. They're all there. The, the point for us is not to go through all of them, but to realize that in this math.h header file, it, it has all the different functions like square root, the power, the sine, the cosine, and so forth. They're all inside of there. Okay, um, in the old days, you used to do, in fact, when computers first came out, they did tons of math stuff. And of course, they still do today, depending on the domain. But there are many times where you may write code and you don't do any math, traditional math operations. It may be that instead you're performing operations on text and strings and files as opposed to numbers. But there's plenty of number operations out there as well. And for that, you pull in the math.h. All right. Thank you once again for making it this far. More to come in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.